Thank you very much. My name is Lauren Just. I'm the owner and operator of Persimmon Ridge Golf Course and Residential Development, and I am president-elect of Nabo Chapter, uh, Nabo Louisville Chapter, uh, for the coming two years. So my, my term starts January of next year. Uh, I want to congratulate once again Sean Smith and Sophia Samutin. Uh, am I pronouncing that correctly, by the way? How do you say your last name? Samutin. Okay. Congratulations to you girls once again. And uh, good luck in your future with your businesses. <laughs> Mayor Fisher, thank you very much for joining us today and uh, sharing your ideas on business with us and, and promoting Nabo Louisville and, and uh, actually just helping us to celebrate this great city that we live in and the businesses that thrive within Louisville. I also want to recognize and thank all of the COE committee. Abigail Mueller and Ashley Wimsett, if you'll please stand, we'd like to acknowledge you and thank you for a wonderful job that you've done for us again this year. And your staff members or your committee members of Kate Bringardner, Karen Duff, Denise Cumberland, Stephanie Gum, Maggie Harlow, thanks to all of you for making this event a success. I'd also like to thank once again our sponsors of the event, GLI, PNC Bank, UPS, and US Bank. Thank you so much for helping us to put this event on and to recognize these young entrepreneurs who are going to help shape our community in the future. And uh, as well as all of our in-kind sponsors that have supported us and participated in this event. I would also like to um, make mention of the upcoming NABO events. On December 4th, we have the Cash Management Seminar Cash management, I think that's something all of us can, uh, can take advantage of these days if there is such a thing as any cash left in our businesses at, the, at this time of year. And on December 11th, we're going to celebrate the year, and um, we'll do that at Flame Run, which is really a fun place to do these things. Everybody will get to make their own ornament and, and blow that glass, and that will be our holiday social, and it will be at Flame Run on December 11th. As we conclude our program today, um, Abigail started by stating that united we stand, divided we fall. There's been a lot of division uh, with all the commercials and all the campaigning and everything else that's been going on for months and months on end. And today it will come to fruition. You see my vote sticker? I voted at 6.01 a.m. this morning. I urge all of you to do the same today. And as we conclude today, once again, this country will become united, hopefully stand behind the candidate that who, has been, who has been selected to run our, com uh, our country for the next four years. And it's my hope that all of us can do that in a united manner. Uh, I, I ask that you today, if you know a veteran in your life or in your workplace, thank them and hug them for giving us the opportunity to have the freedom to make these choices that we're able to make today. Because without these men and women who have served our country and fought for the right to have the freedom to make the choices that we're able to make, we wouldn't have this process that we're all experiencing today. So please, if you, if you know someone in your life who has served our country, thank them today. It will mean the world to them. So with that, I want to thank all of you once again. I urge you, go out and vote, support the candidate of your choice, and have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.